Alright, hey, hey, it's me here, and welcome to another Sauron Light Me video. Alright, so uh, I just got an email today saying, Hey, Merlin, you're going to be racing in next weekend's race. So, yeah, I'm going to be racing the Hollister Hills Hair Scramble. Um, I was on the wait list because they only have, they can only allow a certain amount of riders because of the, the pandemic and everything. So, so I got on it. So, so that, and, and I raced it on the Light Me last time, and now I want to race it again. Okay, but the problem is, my light bee is broken, okay? So the front sprocket is like, is done. So I gotta go take the, uh, the, the Lunacycle 219 chain kit and we're going to go, uh, we're gonna go swap the stock sprocket, the, the stock uh, belt back on, okay? So I decided, hey, you know what? I've gotten a lot of practice taking the primary drive apart on this bike. So I, I wanna see how fast I can do it, okay? So, so here's, here's the challenge, all right? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up a stopwatch on my phone, okay? And and once uh, once I start, I'm gonna hit start, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna go, and we're gonna see how long it takes. So the the challenge is to how fast can you swap out the primary drive kit on this bike uh, without torquing it, okay? Because so because when you reassemble it, it uh, it takes a, the the thing that takes the most time actually is like finding out what the torque is for all the bolts and stuff, okay? So. Um, but uh, but the only but one thing I do have the torque is the sprockets. Okay, the sprockets and the the, the, the pulley, the pulleys have to be torqued. Okay, I, I can't you have to do that before you put it back in. So that's the only thing I'm gonna torque. Okay, so um, so everything is just gonna be I'm gonna get the bolt in there and then that's it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in its supermoto form for now. Okay, but I'm gonna have to put the dirt wheels for the it's a dirt bike race, so I gotta have the dirt wheels on it. Okay, so. Um, so yeah, that's it. So like, uh, check, take a look at. So I have all the tools all ready to go right here that I think I need. Okay, I'm in my garage, so I have access to other tools if I need it. But these are the tools that I think I'm gonna need. So I just put them right here. I'll get a short clip of the video of it real quick before we start. Okay. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna see how fast Hades Omega can do this. <laughs> I, my get my guesstimation is 40 minutes. I can do it 40 minutes. So basically from this state back to this state without torquing everything in 40 minutes all right so once once the wheel and chain is back on then then that that is time okay that's what i'm gonna say all right so i mean um yeah so the first thing i'm gonna start with is the uh the front sprocket i'm gonna loosen the front sprocket um should be easy with the impact gun as you saw in the earlier videos okay but i've probably taken this whole thing apart like like five or six times, Hades Omega should be a pro at it now. <laughs> okay, um, I will, when I put the bolts back in for the uh, primary drive, I will be using Loctite, okay? I, I, I highly recommend when you put this thing back together, put a Loctite on it, you don't want these pulleys coming apart, okay? Also, another thing, I will be installing the Honda Grom axle nut. I believe that the, that the, um, the shaft, the, the output shaft for the motor, uses the same, it uses the same freaking axle nut as a Sauron, all right? And you know, Ace Mega is not a big fan of the Sauron axle nut. <laughs> it's come off on him on a couple occasions. So that's why I replaced it with a Kawasaki and a Honda one, okay? The, the Kawasaki was for a KLX 140 front uh, axle. And then this is a Honda Grom axle. It uses the same, it uses the same uh, nut for the front and the back, okay? But it use, it's a 19, all right. So, but the thing is, like, it's a better quality uh, nut, and and I, I, you know, I can't find the spring washer. There's supposed to be a spring washer where the output shaft is on the pulley. I can't find it. So, um, until I find it, I, I, I think this is a better. This this will be better, okay. I know that the the sprocket spins, the the motor spins in a way where the this will not come loose. Also, it basically it, it gets tighter. You know, it, it, it you know. The, the sprocket spins this way and then the nut would go the other way right so so it's like it's like it's tightening itself all the time right so um, unless you're regening <laughs> so, right. 
but I think it should be fine. I've been riding it like this for a while. But Hayes Mega just doesn't like the Sauron nuts, so I'm gonna. I have this Honda Ground one. I'm not using. I'm using the Kawasaki one right now because the Kawasaki is a 17 millimeter. This is a 19 millimeter. It's beefier, okay? So, so that, so I'm gonna get some use out of this. There's no reason not to use this because the reason I don't use it on the axle is because the nut size is bigger, so it's harder to get the socket in there. I, I prefer the 17 for the rear, but 19 for the for the front for the, the motor output shaft should be fine. But we'll, we'll actually see if it fits. I don't know if it fits yet. So I, I'm pretty sure that I'm looking at the axle nut. I'm like, I mean, at the motor output shaft nut and I'm like, that looks like the axle nut. <laughs> I bet you they just use the axle nut on the, on the output shaft. That's what I'm thinking, okay? But that's gonna go in the front here like this, okay? Okay, hopefully that'll do the trick. All right, so let's get started. Okay, before we get started, uh, this is what this is the setup right here. I've already got it on the stand, and I've got my tools laid out right here. Okay, I got the impact gun, the 17 mil on it. Um, I've got the pulleys right here. This is like an operating table, is what it is, you know. <laughs> um, I've got the uh, the front and rear pulleys and a new belt from Lunacycle. Okay, that I had, um, and then these are all the tools I think we're gonna need. All right, there's a 12 millimeter for the, the swing arm. Um, the swing arm nut remover, removal tool that I made, uh, pry bar, punch, little hammer, um, clutch holder tool. I think I have not used this on the pulley before, but I think it will work on this, so I'm going to try it. If it doesn't, I'll get the strap wrench out. Um, Allen, a, a number of Allen wrenches, a small torque wrench for the for this guy, the pulley, and then um, and then a master link plier, and then a long Allen wrench thing. Okay, so. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. 40 minutes, that's my guess. Okay, there it is. There's my setup right there. I'm gonna hit start and we're gonna go, all right? So I've got the uh, I've got the camera focused on the phone. So you, you'll probably see me in the background doing this stuff. All right, I'm just gonna speed up the video and we'll see how long this will take. All right, and begin.
Okay, there we go. And time. All right. So uh, I the sorry guys, the battery ran out. I don't know how much of that last part that I got, you know, of me doing it. Uh, the last thing I did was tighten the belt. That's all I did. Um, okay, that's my time. So it took about 40 minutes, like I mentioned. So uh, that was my guesstimate, and I was right on. Okay. Now everything went pretty pretty smoothly. Okay. The uh, what what kind of had me scratching my head was a. Uh, I was like, I was putting the, the, the counter pulley back on, okay, the, or the pinion pulley, whatever you call it. Um, and then I'm like, what the heck, dude? It's like, it's not going in all the way. It seems like it's sticking out way too much. And, uh, and, then, uh, and then I realized, and then I took it back out. I was like, I, I had to go back up and look at my video. I looked at my video to see like if it's the right way. Because I remember the front part has to have like the writing on it. So it's HTD 8M right here, okay? Um, yeah, it has to have that on it. Well, it turns out I forgot to take two of the washers out, okay? Two of the shims out, and they were still back there. So <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, that's why. So I had to take the pulley out again, and then I had to take the thing out. So if I, if, chances are, if I hadn't have done that, it probably would have been 30 minutes flat, okay? <laughs> so, so yeah, there it is. There, that's with the, with the belt I got from LunaCycle. I have never run these LunaCycle belts before, so I don't know how good they are. Hopefully, they're better than the primary drive chain kit. <laughs> That's what I'd say, okay? I don't know where to get these belts from, man, but the last belt I had was a Gates, uh, uh, Gates Power GT3 uh, belt, and that was a pretty good belt, all right? Um, I subjected to a lot of torture, and it, it took it, okay? Until I took it to the dunes. <laughs> so that's what I would say. But there it is. I actually I didn't put the cover back on. I the cover is somewhere, so that's okay. It's not a big deal. But uh, but but okay. There it is. So that's my that's my time. Thirty eight minutes, thirty four seconds, and sixty eight sixty eight degrees or sixty eight minutes, or whatever, whatever that other measurement is. Just say thirty eight minutes, thirty four seconds. Okay. Um, yeah. So. There, that's from start to start to finish. Uh, like I said, I did not torque. The only thing I torqued was the uh, the primary drive uh, um, pulley. Okay, that's the only thing I torqued. I didn't torque anything else. All right, because I because that's already in there. I can't like. Also, I kind of messed up. I had it at 11 newton meters. It's supposed to be 15 newton meters and 11 foot pounds. So I had the I had my units all messed up. Okay, so and then I I checked. That's why I had to, you saw me in the middle of the video, I checked my phone because I had the torque specs on my phone. I checked it and I was like, oh, wait a minute, it's it's 15 newton meters, not not 11 newton meters, <laughs> it's 11 foot pounds. So 11 foot pounds is uh, 15 newton meters, okay? Um, so I still gotta put the dirt stuff on, but you know, I, I think I'm gonna take it out for some DoorDash and see how good it is. Um, it's quiet again, guys. <laughs> it's quiet again. <laughs> Yeah! It's actually kind of loud still. I don't know. Um, that's just the sound of the belt, I guess. Hopefully, it would probably be quieter with the cover on there, but I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll take it out for a couple DoorDash rides and then we'll see how it is. All right, but I still got to torque a bunch of stuff. I got to torque, I got to torque everything, okay? <laughs> I got to torque the motor bounce, the foot pegs, the, uh, the, this guy, the, the swing arm bolt, the, the swing arm axle i gotta tighten i gotta do the wheel everything i gotta torque everything okay everything that i took out um yeah it went pretty smoothly getting it back in wasn't too hard um just trying to get the whole freaking jack shaft in there is always difficult man because cause you've got so many parts you've got the little spacers in there you've got the the swing arm and then you got the the frame and all that stuff it's it's pain in the ass so i have to say this is probably the second time it went the most smooth okay the first time was the first, the best time it went smoothly was when I put that, that kit in there, okay? So if you guys want to take a look at these sprockets. So this is the sprocket right here, all right? Look at that. It is it is gone, dude. That wouldn't have lasted much longer. If I had kept on riding with that, it would have been toast. Okay, I've got these little ninja stars now. Got a big one, too. So here's what the rear sprocket looks like. It was, it's getting there. I would say this is halfway... All right, I'd say that's halfway, and it's already kind of sawtooth looking. All right, so you can see how uh, you can see how the um, it's kind of it's kind of wearing this way in that direction. So that's the, the chain pulling it, you know, and it's it's creating this kind of like kind of wave kind of effect. Okay, same thing you can see here. See how 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 the the groove is worn like this way, like that way. <laughs> On this, I think this is the. 
sure. Which one is the front one? I think this is the front one. This one is, look at it, look at it. There's not much left on it. <laughs> he just figured did a good job destroying this one. Now, I don't know, had, had I shimmed it properly? I don't know, man. I know I re-shimmed it, but it was kind of too late. It was already too far gone. Um, so you can tell one of these is a lot more worn than the other, see? But it's still pretty much both of them worn. You know? um, so that leads me to believe this one, this one was kind of pulling the chain. But yeah, you can see the difference between the the large sprocket and the small sprocket, all right? There's still, this one still kind of looks like a sprocket. This one is like, is totally gone, dude. You, you will not want to use that anymore, so. And then they don't sell replacements for these, so I, what's the point, you know? <laughs> um, you've got a very strong chain, but you've got very weak sprockets. So that's, that's the problem now. So, so now we're back to the pulley. We've got the, the belt the belt breaking problem but the pulleys are pretty strong you know um i'm not gonna lie i probably should replace the pulleys on this i was looking at them they're kind of it looks kind of worn out i think when uh i think when it let go it might have damaged the pulley a little bit there's some it's it's a little there's some like scraping marks on the on the teeth okay um on the teeth on the pulley okay so hopefully hopefully after a couple miles uh of riding or a couple maybe like a hundred miles the uh it'll it'll smoothen it out okay but i will keep an eye on it <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say all right so there we go that's my record 38 minutes and 34 se 38 minutes 34 seconds i hope you guys i hope that was an entertaining video for you guys it was entertaining for me <laughs> Um, I had everything all laid out, and like I said, like I've I've done this like five or six times already. So it's like I, I was like, I wonder how fast I could do it, like if I go really, really fast. So, so that there you go. I could do I, I could get it down to 30 minutes. I bet you know, if I you know if I did it right. I, but like I said, I've never, I've never installed that that counter pulley, the pinion pinion gear pulley. I've never installed it before. So that was the first time I'd done that. So that was something new I did just now. Okay, um, everything else. You know, I've already done it. So I already knew to like put a jack, put a jack stand underneath the swing arm and then get this and then pull up on that and then poof, the bolt just went straight in. Okay, usually I, I have a hard time. This, this guy fights me going in and this guy will fight me going in sometimes. So yeah, and then, and then I put the wheel on backwards. <laughs> if you guys saw that. Oh yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if you I caught that in the video, but I put the wheel on backwards. I was like, I was trying to put the wheel on and then I was putting the brake caliper on. I was like, hey, wait a minute. This is wrong. This is a sprocket. <laughs> So yeah, all right. So so yeah, that's it. I hope uh, I hope that was entertaining, and I hope you guys you know that's that's a good that's a look at the uh, the Luna Cycle sprockets. Man, they are done. Um, the chain looks fine. Let's take a look at the chain real quick. Yeah, the chain looks fine to me. That's a good chain. Like I said, it's a Japanese chain. You know, it has to be good. But yeah, I don't really see. It's a little dirty, man. But honestly, it did. I, it doesn't. It didn't really pick up much dirt and under the you know it's pretty it's pretty well covered over here is what i'm going to say okay so that's why they can run it with the belt um, all right thanks for watching here's big out son of a what is this man look i ran over like a piece of glass or something Ugh. these tires are so soft they it gets punctured so easily these these michelin pilot tires I would think like a, a, a normal motorcycle tire would be more less prone to getting flats okay but anyway okay so yeah what's gonna happen next is i gotta torque everything and i gotta put the cover back on and then that's it we're done so um like i said torquing everything is uh, uh, finding all the torque specs and torquing everything it's is what takes the most time all right that's um i'd imagine this is probably going to wind up taking an hour okay so um, so that, I mean, that 40 minutes time, we'll add another 20 minutes for torquing bolts and stuff, okay? Um, now, I kind of cheated. I, I kind of cheated with the pulley because I had already set the torque wrench before I even, uh, before I even started. <laughs> I set it for 11 newton meters, though, and then I had to reset it for 15 newton meters, so. So, yeah, it didn't really help me all that much, honestly. <laughs> okay, yeah, so all that's left is I got to torque everything, so I'd imagine that would take 20 minutes tops. I kind of, I got all the specs in my phone. Like, I've done it so many freaking times, I've memorized it. <laughs> All right, here's we go. Whew, okay, I got done torquing everything. It's pretty easy when... Uh, uh, one thing I learned is uh, to start at the lower... The lower... Start at a lower or higher torque level. Most of the bolts on this bike are about 15... Like, 
like 12 to 15 foot pounds okay so i just put it 15 foot pounds and i went bam 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 i did everything like that and i think the next one was like 26 i did that or 22 and then uh and then the next one was 37 i think that was the 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 axle the i mean the the output shaft nut oh, oh yeah oh yeah i forgot i forgot to mention um the honda grom axle nut works okay the axle nut for the uh, honda grom it works on this it's a 19 also it's 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 bigger so hopefully it's stronger i did not put the spring nut back in if i can find it i will put it back in but i i don't remember where i put it there's a little spring spring washer there's a spring washer that you put in there it's kind of like conical shape i guess it's to keep it from backing out um but it's got a locking nut so like they put like two they put two ways to, that to keep it from backing out is like they use a they put one of those uh spring washers and then uh or a conical washer whatever you call it i i know they use them in like turbocharged cars and stuff to keep the bolts from backing out on the turbos like my mitsubishi has it <laughs> and uh uh and they use a uh, locking nut so if you, uh, yeah this is it right here so so the 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 rear uh, so I, I discovered something the rear axle nut for the soron is the same nut they use for the output shaft okay so if you need to you know with whatever you need to replace it you can use the rear axle nut or you can use one from a kawasaki uh, klx 140 front axle or you can use it from a honda grom axle front or rear okay so right now i have the honda grom one in there that's uh, because i had it in i had it in my spare parts bin right here okay and then i was like yeah you know what i wound up not using that and i you know and and the reason i wanted i i didn't want to use it on the back is because it's a seven it's a 19 and not a 17 to to un, undo it you know um and it fits better if it's a 17 all right um the socket fits better so i said like hey well you know what the socket's not going to have a problem fitting in the, in that thing so <laughs> so yeah there it is okay uh yeah and then i just kind of went up on the in the torque scales okay the la the highest is the wheel the wheel is like 42 foot pounds all right so ladies mega has done this so many times i can i kind of almost memorize everything if not take notes i have notes in my phone that's that's what helped me a lot like this bolt is that that bolt is that a lot of the bolts are pretty similar in torque so uh, and also some of them have still have the factory blue marks on them so you know like when you put if you get if you put the bolt back and it's around that area you know it it's kind of where it was before okay <laughs> all right so yeah okay that's the end of the video thanks for watching torqued ready for battle